When you try to list the persecutions, it's always a little bit difficult because are you talking about the Jewish persecution of Christians or the Roman persecution? Now, the very first persecution period was by uh, the Jewish majority in, in Palestine uh, against the Christians. Clearly, when they incarcerate the apostles and the apostles get sprung and they boldly say we cannot but testify to what we've seen and heard, that was a Jewish persecution, as you well know. But the Roman persecution began under Nero. It was a fluke uh, it, in the sense that it was in connection with the great fire of Rome. Now, Nero didn't set fire to Rome, and he didn't fiddle while Rome burned. The violin's not going to be invented yet for 11 centuries. But he may have been playing the lyre because his poetic uh, element in his, his psyche was touched by Rome being destroyed before him. He might have uh, uh, sung a dirge because he gave concerts, you know. And, uh, and so maybe somebody saw that and said, oh, he's playing around while Rome burns, and that could have been the origin. No. Uh, generally, uh, scholars say that uh, they give Nero a clean bill of health here. The fire began accidentally uh, in a squalid collection of... Uh, huts in the city, east of the Circus Maximus, the great Hippodrome in Rome, seating 250,000, and uh, then raged on for 10 days. And now people are destitute and they're furious and there is no orderly television news reporting and so they don't know how the fire began, but it happened on Nero's watch. And for that reason, his throne is now tottering and to save himself, Again, that's exactly what Tacitus tells us, the, the great Roman historian. To save himself, Nero now blames the Christians. And so by this fluke then, this wrong accusation, we have the beginning of at least two and a half centuries of persecution until Constantine the Great comes along, the first Christian emperor, and takes the heat off. Mm -hmm.